Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Mrs. Endowed. I'm so excited to be filming this video. I've actually missed you guys, believe it or not. It's been a while. I have had no freaking energy to begin to even put together a video for you guys. Um, if you live on planet Earth, I think you know why. And if you're watching this from outer space, what's up? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you live in the United States, It's been it's so exhausting being a black person in the United States to be to be honest. Like it's just been it's just been yeah, it's been a lot. I don't even have the words and I just needed to just step back and get my mind right. And you know, I hope this video serves as a temporary escape for anyone who just needs to just step back and get their mind together. So today's video is the Kushni X Target collaboration. Kushni is a black owned um, clothing line and it is owned by Carly Kushni and um, I actually learned about them sometime last year there was this beautiful jumpsuit I went on the site I was hoping to buy it they only made a size the biggest size is an extra large and <laughs> your girl is a little bit you know a little bit more excess in front of that and we would have been good so I was very disappointed but then I found out they were doing a target collaboration and the, the sizes is actually pretty extensive and I was super excited so if you use a little plus size cutie and if you are just a normal straight size, um, you should check them out because the sizes are from like 0 to like 26 or something like that. Really impressive. So yeah, I've been hoping to incorporate more color um, into my wardrobe, hopefully when we can actually all go outside. So I was looking and I couldn't really see too many plus size people who had had it on, so I just figured I was going to do kind of a try on haul. They didn't carry these in any of my local targets, so I did have to order it and I ordered everything because I wasn't sure what I was gonna like so I'm gonna pick out what I like and send the rest back so you guys can help me pick out which ones you think look best also are you, are you feeling my hair I had just seen a Kiki Adams video and she did this look and I said I was gonna replicate it this was absolutely the wrong wig for it this is a wig that actually has bangs and this was not cooperating but I I still think I look semi cute so let's just go with that I right, let me stop chit chatting and let's just jump into the video and I'll catch I really liked this dress. It was super cute, very quality. I love the way it flowed. My only issue was the top of the back they didn't quite sit right, but I know that's because of my back fat. But other than that, it was really cute. I love the lining. They sewed it kind of straight instead of flare. So even if the wind kicks up your skirt, it's not gonna kick up the lining because it's not flared. It also came in this color, which I think I liked the first one better. And for whatever reason, even though it's the same size, the back of this one just sat even more horribly than the first. Now this one I didn't love but I also didn't hate. The material was really nice but I just don't think I like the style. I don't like the little flappy thingies on the side. The back was also a touch too tight. I don't mind my rolls showing but it was kind of digging into my back a little bit so I didn't like it. There is something about a red dress that just makes you feel picante. Like I was feeling spicy in this one. It was really cute. However, them straps is so teeny tiny. And though it was sturdy, my boobs is big. And it was pulling down on it and the straps were kind of digging into my shoulder. So I don't know whether these will last. I feel like they're going to snap on me. Also, the lining was very thick. And if you didn't adjust it, you're going to get that bunching that I got right there. But other than that, mommy, it was cute. Listen to me, listen to me. This one right here, yeah, nah, I felt like that chick. This one was nice, yo. It's everything I ever wanted in a slip dress that I didn't know I could have. Not too loose, not too tight. It was sitting right, <laughs> bars. And look at that slit, it was really nice. I love everything about this one, bro. I felt set XC. It also came in another color, which was the neon and nude. I thought I would like this one more, but she was not hitting. Also, all the stuff is wrinkled because I don't own it yet, so I wasn't about to steam it uh, or iron it. But yeah, my shoe couldn't even bother to stay on because she just wasn't it now. So this one right here I really wanted to like because I love the color. I love that the front is longer than the back. I love the slit. Inside it has like a little bit light boning so it does sit a little structured. But there was this one ruching detail that was supposed to, I don't know, look nice. But look at it. It's sitting all folded and clunky and I just feel like it didn't look good. Also, I only have on boy shorts and all of these. So maybe if I had on Spanx it might have cinched it in better. But if you don't look good without Spanx, I'm not giving you a chance with Spanx. 
Speaking of ill-fitting, I don't know what they was going for. I don't know why the arms were just so loose like this. I felt like my boobs were gonna fall out any second. The one side was way too short. I think you could see on my face, I was really uncomfortable in this one. I didn't even barely wanna be in front of the camera. I just hated, I just hated everything about it. I hated this one, <laughs> sorry. This dress really surprised me. I didn't really like it when I saw it on the model, but I'm glad I gave it a chance. It sits really nicely. The only thing is that drawstring is actually just decorative. You can't actually cinch in the waist anymore. And I think the armpit part is a little bit too big, so there's a lot of excess fabric, but she looks good. She's big uh, boob friendly. My boobs are giving you respectable cleavage, and I love the way they mix the matte and shiny fabric. It's really cute. What was I just telling you about red dresses? Like something about red dresses i was really feeling myself in this one as well it's kind of like a slip dress style um, i thought the split was on that side but it wasn't <laughs> but the back is like an open back now yeah i do got a bigger back you know your girl is, is chunky but i still thought it looked really good on the back i love the way it fit this one is definitely a contender for me she's really beautiful this is another one I was pleasantly surprised by because shirt dresses sometimes can look very boxy but because of the belt you can create a waist on this one. Also look at that cutout. I hate unnecessary cutouts but I might be a, a believer now. It's like modest in the front, a little bit of sexy in the back. The only thing is that little hole between the boobs but that happens with most any shirts that I, I try to get with buttons but look at the flow on that very lovely light material. Last but certainly not the least, even though I did think this was the least, I thought this was the most basic looking one in the collection from the style to the color to the material choice but then I put it on and listen I ate my words I was feeling so good in this one honey it's kind of that stretchy spandexy material but it does feel a little bit better and listen get a girl get a girl you couldn't tell me nothing in this one I liked her I hope you guys absolutely enjoyed that I had the bestest time filming that for you guys I'm lying I don't know because this I feel this outro before I actually went to film it but you <laughs> You know what I'm talking about. Anywho, please make sure you comment down below which dresses were the cutest. I wish I could keep them all, but unfortunately, your girl is on a budget. I know, I know, pretty unsexy, but a girl's gotta save. So, if, with your help, I can narrow it down and pick out the ones that I did like. And you know what? I'm very proud of myself for stepping outside my comfort zone. It's, I don't always love showing my arms and my back and stuff like that and especially with slinky dresses i thought they could only look good on a certain body type but once again girl it ain't the body type it's just your confidence confidence is key you could dead pull off anything with confidence i kid you not so i'm so excited about that i'm excited to incorporate more color into my wardrobe and i hope that you will take the time out to go check out the kushni target collaboration it is really nice and i do hope you take the time out to support more black businesses i hope you enjoyed make sure you comment make sure you share this and until next time hopefully it won't be too long but knowing me <laughs> this is gonna be in 2021 okay bye